Hello everybody and welcome to this guide and tutorial for the golden shot difficulty level is hard and I will give you 8 shots in how to crush this version of the hard golden shot. Before we start make sure that you do hit that thumbs up button that means a lot. Also subscribe to the channel which you can do for free and also turn on the notifications. You can get the ultimate tournament guides for pro, expert and or master by going to patreon.com slash golfclashtommy. Do like more than 2000 players and get your guides to they. And in this golden shot version I've cleared out the chests on every account that I've been playing it as to provide the guide. We're going to play hole number two of the Chateau Lavande and here you can see that we can win the obsidian chest for the hole in one. We do have the amber chest for the yellow ring, crimson chest for the red ring, we do have aqua chest for the light blue ring and cobalt chest for the dark blue ring. We will be playing with a golden long iron every single time. A maximum distance with a 10% over adjustment it is approximately 1.66 per ring. But to make it even more easy for you, follow the VPR table on the right hand side to get the correct numbers. We are going to have a wind, as you can see on the screen, between 5 and 7 miles per hour. Hour. Obviously you can still use an application and such, but there is no point in adding an extra element when we will be having the VPR table in the guide. So, if you do have any more questions about the golden shot, you press the question mark on the top right and if you do experience an error or just have any type of question about the game uh, uh, in general, you press the contact us button and send in a ticket to the Golf Clash support. Let's take a look at the landing position here now as a start and we're going to look at uh, three things here, but two things is going to be the most important part. Look at the yellow ring. We take the right side of the yellow ring to be just by the rough line. We have the right side of the blue ring just by the sand trap line. And then we do have the right side of the white ring or more like the top right side of the white ring by the sand trap line. And the reason we're looking at the rings here only is because it's going to be very difficult with a bad ball guideline to actually follow the ball guideline where we're not at the green with it. And also we, are, we aren't in plus yardage to prevent us from going in between clubs and that's obviously it's going to be uh, be a, you know, harder to use the plus yardage if so because we don't want to go in between clubs. So there we do have the landing position. I will obviously come back to that uh, when we're talking about the shots. I do have eight shots for you so we're gonna jump in and take a look at shot number one. We do have southeast wind. Look what I do here as a start. I do find yellow ring and blue ring is my main focus. The white ring is basically like a bonus thing to just cross check. Okay that, uh, that is fitting correctly. One and a half bar top spin and one bar side spin to the right it looked more like a 1.2 i'm not gonna lie so i'm gonna say 1.2 bars of top spin one bar side spin to the left i will pull over the bullseye here for every single shot and i would recommend you to do the same so adjustment for 5.4 gives us 3.2 rings have in mind here now that the clock goes quicker in the golden shot so make sure that you do uh, give yourself plenty of time before you have to release. And the ball comes down into the green and we do have this one very very close getting a hole in one here for the first shot. But getting the yellow ring and that's what I always say when it comes to a guide itself especially the golden shot guide we cannot with a guide give you a hole in one adjust every single time because the wind isn't exactly static and it's going to be, you know, the wind angle dependent. We might have a little curl here and there. But with a perfect ball, we are saying that you should equal a red ring. Otherwise, we are not going to be pleased with that shot. Yellow ring by the rough line, blue ring by the sand trap line. We have 7 miles per hour pointing northwest. More straight tailwind than northwest, in my opinion. So now we're going to find the position and we will be adding spin. So the spin, we go one top spin, and you can see here that I'm going half a bar of left spin. Seven miles per hour is the highest win we can get, and 4.2 is the adjustment, and we will once again pull over the bullseye, starting at the blue ring, pulling over the yellow to 4.2. Once again, the time goes quicker, as you can see there, so again, I do not have the time to let it swing one more time, so I had to just let it go. The ball comes in here, maybe, you know, like 
a little bit too much left spin here speed wise perfect this would have been the yellow ring if we would be having that one left but let's take a look and see what we do get into the the final chest actually Apocalypse. Did you see the Apocalypse? It went quick. So the Golden Shot is by far the absolute best place to try to get some Apocalypse cards. Straight ta uh, straight headwind, not tailwind, obviously. Yellow ring by the rough line, blue ring by the bunker. And now, again, we do not really care about the ball guideline. So, you know, you can add spin before you take your shot or not. Doesn't really matter. Two bars of top spin, 0 0.6 bars of side spin to the left. 6.4 miles per hour gives us a total of 3 point eight rings three point eight rings is played you can see that we're going very close to be in between clubs but you know we are not going to do that even though we have seven miles per hour and the strongest wind ball comes in here let's get it dropped for an holy wow no, so we get the red ring again. It's okay, but obviously we do want to get that ball to drop a little bit more left spin would have been fine And then we would be getting that shot once again to drop Hammerhead cards. Eh, it's not good, but it's not you know, it's it's not bad, but it's not good either So a little bit of headwind combined with crosswind coming left to right once again yellow ring by the rough line blue ring by the bunker and then we will, in that case, use the spin here now. I'm going to go 1.2 bars of top spin is what I'm going to go here. 1.2, 1 bar of left spin. 6.6 .6 miles per hour gives us 4 rings. Adjusting from the blue ring to over the yellow, which is 3 plus 1 equals 4 rings. As you can see in the chart here once again, 6.6 uh, .6 .6 is then 4 rings for us to adjust. Perfect ball. And the ball comes in here. It looks like we're going to go short. Can we still get it to drop though? Oh, dude. Dude, dude, dude. That ball does not want to drop for us here this morning. And what do we have here? What is the epic? That's what we care about. Yuck. Young list is puke. So we're going to leave that and we're going to play with pretty much the same wind. It's just going to be a little bit more crosswind than what we do have. It, what we did have headwind in the last attempt. Can we get this one to drop then? We do have 1.2 bars of top spin this time again. One bar of left spin. 5.9 miles per hour gives us three and a half rings. And so now I will be pulling from the red ring. Over the yellow into half of the red to give myself three and a half rings. Perfect ball. Bouncing on the fairway. We like how the camera's doing here now. We know it's going to be close. And once again, we are just, just barely burning that freaking edge. And that is, that is harsh. <laughs> <laughs> no, we want to drop that hole in one, but we're gonna drop some hole in ones. Maybe that can start here now. What do we have here? We do have some berserker balls in the end. We need to stock up, as you can see, almost six thousand of the berserker balls. A little bit of uh, crosswind uh, when it comes to right to left, but mainly headwind here. But we set up the exact same way, and now I'm using one point eight bars of top spin. And you can see here I'm going with 0 0.6 bars of left spin. 6.1 miles per hour gives us, according to the chart, 3.7 rings. And we will be pulling from the red ring over to the other red ring as well. You can see here 3.7. There we do have it. And then we're going to take our shot. And as always, and I haven't said that in this video yet, but I'm going to say it now. Pay attention to how you're centering the ball. Because a big thing for players or like a big reason why players do miss shots is because they have some accidental overpower or underpower or curl i know that is difficult especially if you play on a small device or like a small screen but it's something that i do want you to really at least focus on because if you focus on it it's going to be better it's not going to be flawless but it's going to be better got ourselves the first hole in one and we got the castaway and again that's just absolutely crap 
but you know can't really do much about that lottery with the cards yellow ring by the rough line blue ring by the sand trap line and then we're going to go with a little bit less top spin here 1.7 is what i'm going here now and half a bar of side spin to the left now we do have a little bit more wind uh, coming right to left but still more headwind so it's pretty similar to what we had before just a little bit more crosswind towards it that's why i reduced the top spin a little bit because less less headwind is going to obviously um be um di be different in the end perfect ball bouncing on the fairway we love when the camera like zooms out like that we know it's going to be close absolute brilliant speed but here we needed a little bit more left spin here but again who really cares when we get it to drop but obviously just a tad more left spin i think we were a little bit low with the 0 0.5 there to be completely honest but we do get an hole in one get some booms in that chat cataclysm cards as well awesome let's go for the last shot here in this guide 5.0 miles per hour wind coming now more crosswind than headwind and we're going to have the yellow ring by the rough line blue ring by the sand trap line as you know we have had before one and a half bar top spin and we go with 0 0.2 <laughs> 0 0.2 bar side spin left oh my god my voice uh, uh my voice <laughs> okay five miles per hour lowest win we can get which we say thank you for three rings it's adjusted and then we're going to take our shot once again i need to hurry up a little bit here otherwise we're gonna time out so uh, that there we go bouncing on the fairway getting the camera to turn around and when the camera does like that we know it's gonna be close right at pin for a beautiful hole in one here uh, for three hole in ones here in a row so there we do have it ladies and gentlemen and we will take a look at the text guide after this uh, chest opening here let's see what we do get we do have the tsunami as epic that's okay obviously not a favorite one but it's okay so the text guide is made as usual by our dear friend Tony Richardson. Make sure that you do subscribe to his channel. You can find the link to his channel in the description down below. The guide is made 100% of my shots. So there is no difference in terms of, you know, what I would adjust and what the guide would say. So this is my adjustment and that is very important for you to have in mind we start with the landing position on top left yellow ring by rough blue ring by first bunker white ring by second bunker either before or after spin very important so it doesn't really matter when you add your spin for this shot you do what you feel comfortable with so when it comes to the spin a straight tailwind one top spin half a bar side spin to the left and then we have northeast wind we have one top spin 0 0.8 bars of left spin wind coming right to left with tailwind one top spin 0 0.2 bars of left spin and i wanted to explain here for you the reason we are using one bar top spin in all types of wind is because the fairway isn't flat which means that we're going to have elevation difference and therefore we're going to have to use the same top spin which is good obviously but it uh, it feels a bit weird not having uh, more tailwind more top spin Sorry, less top spin in direct tailwind. Crosswind coming left to right, one top spin, one left spin. Crosswind coming right to left, 1.3 top spin and 0 0.2 bars of left spin. Crosswind, headwind coming right to left, 1.7 top spin, 0 0.3 bars of left spin. Uh, wind coming left to right in crosswind and headwind, 1.5 top spin, 0 0.9 left spin. Direct headwind, 1.9 top spin and 0 0.6 left spin. The reason we have more top spin with wind coming right to left in both headwind and crosswind it's because when we do adjust for that wind we're going to fall down to a lower spot than we do on the left side that's the reason for that vpr table on the right hand side based on max plus 10 with the golden long iron and as we all have the same golden long iron that's not going to change regardless if you play you know in the early stages of the game or if you are an experienced player so, ladies and gentlemen, once again, thank you so much for watching. And make sure that before you close this uh, window here, make sure that you do hit the thumbs up button. Also, that you do become a subscriber to the channel and turn on those notifications for more content here on our channel. Much love and thank you so much for everything and good luck in the Golden Shelf.